Good morning, modern statters. Let's check on the Cornish cross chicks we got yesterday. See how they did last night. We got them in the outdoor kitchen. It's nice and warm in here. Oh, they're doing fabulous. Look at that. They got plenty of water. Let's shake their feet up a little bit. Awesome. I don't have a light on them as you can see. Then high 80s and low 70s at night. So I want to see how they do. They're not all scrunched up on top of each other. If they were, that means they, they're too cold. But they're all out moving around, eating and drinking. She's looking for Tanner. So they're doing good. They're not too cold. And I'm afraid if I put a heat light in there, they'll get way too hot. I love this sight. The pigs out here on pasture. Good morning. You got a dirty face. That tells me you've been working. I had to put a sweatshirt on. It's pretty chilly out right now. It's supposed to be in the 90s today though, guys. Whew. It's gonna be a hot one. We're up on the roof, roof in the barn. <sighs> I wanna get the whole roof up and finished today, or at least up on the part of the barn that's already built. If you guys are new to the channel, we're building a post and bean barn kit that we bought off the internet from Jamaican Cottage Shops. I'll have a link in the description down below to that. We're building it in three phases. The center, the first phase, which is the center building that we're building right now. That's gonna be our workshop slash garage. And then the, we're gonna be building overhangs on each side. And those are gonna be our animal stalls and other things. So we're almost completed with the roof on the big main structure. Hoping to get that finished today. It's taken me three days. Well, this will be the third day with the tent. I was hoping it was going to be a two-day process. It's taken a little bit longer, but you know how that goes. Nice, Willow. Thank you. Good morning, kiddos. Little man. Little P don't even care about the milk anymore. Neither does little man. It's supposed to get in the 90s today. I want to hurry up and get this roof done before it gets too hot. Yesterday we were able to get this side finished up and the ridge cap started. And the day before that we got this part of the roof done. So we got to finish this up and then the ridge cap. It's looking more and more like a barn, even on the inside. <laughs> I was looking for those. Nice. All right, take out two more bags for now. Uh, sun's coming up. It's gonna be a warm one. I almost forgot our gloves. Our hands would not enjoy that. All right, we got our gloves. Our drill, our screws. Let's grab one more sip of coffee before we go up. Let's get our piece of tin set up and then we will set our stop board in place. Let's get this set up before we get up. Should have checked that last night when I went in, but I think the heat had me all tired. Got a new battery right there. There we go. I think these pieces are getting heavier and heavier.
hold on to the tin and climb up. I don't know of any other option at this point. It'll rest on that board. I like that. All right, now let's get back down and get it in position. Okay. Like it there. So we're gonna go lefty. Not my favorite, I will say that. I'm not screwing the bottom row because I have to put flashing in. So there's a couple of screws I have, I'll have to take them out. I'll slide our flashing up, we do our bottom roof, and then we can put the screws in. If you're just tuning into the channel, I pre-drilled all the tin. It makes it a lot easier when you're working on the roof, and it gives you nice straight lines. I think we should have three more full pieces, and then we have a narrow piece. So this is the top. bad right here on our tin but it is enough or if we don't pay attention our roof's gonna start going sideways all right right there is good all right let's get up there and get this one screwed in place Sun is glaring right down on that tin. Just enough screws in my pocket to finish that too. Maybe we'll be able to stop building our Barn stalls pretty soon.
go. Up and under. Alright. Make sure we're nice and flush there. I like that a lot. Grab my gun. Set that. Here. So, yep, and we can get it up, screwed in place. That last piece will be fun, but we'll get it. Last piece of ridge cap right here. Here's the cut end. I'll stick that end up and under. I'll grab the last full width piece. This was the last one because I didn't like something about it. And I said, oh, we'll stick it on the very end. Oh, when I put my saw on it to cut it, it kind of scratched that a little bit. So that'll be the end piece. Here we go. It's the last climb up the roof line. Oh, my feelings are hurt. So there's that. Let's come out past there. So let's get one set of holes drilled in oh, the sheet. Let's, let's spin it around. It'll be easier for drilling. I just need to remember in my head this is top. There we go. Alright, so the very top first hole will be under the ridge cap. So I'm not gonna drill that one. So we're gonna drill one at 113. 93. 73. 53. 
33, 13. And the other one would be at four, but that's gonna be under the ridge cap. Last piece going up. I was thinking for a second, like, oh, I hope I drilled those holes right. I did. This feels like a victory right here. and in place. Give it a good push. Nice. I like it. I hope I like it. It is what it is. There we go. Won't put one there. Ah, I just had a thought. We need a ladder to get the last piece of tin screwed up on the outside. The barn comes with a 14 foot, no, it's not quite 14 foot, probably 12 foot long ladder. The peak's 14 feet high. So let's see if we can use the ladder that comes with the barn kit from Jamaica Cottage Shops to do what we need to do. This comes with the kit so we can get up to the loft. Well, let's see if we can get up to the roof with it. like a big kid sometimes. You have to be, you just gotta enjoy it. Oh, I know I'll be able to get up a good amount. I just don't know if we can get to the tippity, tippity, tippity top. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's nice and wide. I like it. Yeah, we're gonna need a different ladder. This one would work, but it'd be nice to be able to get up to the peak. All right, it was worth a shot. I'll see if my other one's longer. So that ladder I measured was 12 feet long. I don't know how long or tall this one is, I should say. We almost need like 16 feet. Twelve, fourteen. So we're only two feet taller. So I'm not gonna be able to finish screwing in the ends. I'm gonna have to wait until I get a longer ladder. I have to borrow one or buy one. <sighs> I'm really excited about this part. Taking down all the temporary bracing. We have the roof up and everything done. We can take down this bracing. Okay. That should do it. This one might be challenging. One. Oh, we got it.
Now we can walk around in here, down here, without any interference. Oh, climb the ladder. We'll take down this bracing. That was to push the roof this way, so the front edge was plumb. So now that we got all the tin up, we can take that down. Nope, no screws. All right, the screws in this one I know for sure. Warm enough for you? Yeah. Fetch the pigs are nice and warm too. Yeah. Think they'll want any food? Yes. Yeah. See the piggies. Don't touch the fence. Ew. Is that good or what? Hope, how's the hay? Is that some good stuff? Do you need some more water? Help! Go tight. Hope a dope. What are you doing? You liking this heat? Does this remind you of home? Just like here. What are you doing? I need more water in here. You don't want Hope eating the cap? No. You hear Olivia's getting you fresh water and you come and running? They should turn their nurse off a little because she don't really love them. Maggie, you're all by yourself. Oh, she just realized it too. Mama left you. Oh no, oh no. She was eating the branch I put out yesterday. Willow, did Maggie find you? Yep. I have a baby with a loop on all the way. You haven't? And I took the braces off. You've been asking. Yeah. And the ladder's in here. Mm-hmm. It's so weird having like the ladder and like a cloak off the floor. Is it weird having a roof? Yes. Perfect. It's too hot for the loose chickens to fly. <laughs> Do you think this heat has messed up them laying? Maybe. I don't know. No. No? That's a funky egg. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. We got twenty. Holy moly. I like that green one. It's pretty. Oh, yeah. Pretty, huh? 20. Nice. I'm going to hold it for a minute. It did not. The dog days of summer. It feels good to get to this part of the barn build. It's nice to have the main building all roofed in. Now if it rains, it's watertight. We get a lot of rain, we can always work on putting in the doors and the windows, but hopefully the weather stays nice and we can stop building our eave overhangs, which will be our animal stalls. We're looking forward to that. That's the next big step. I think I just stumbled upon my new favorite quote by Abraham Lincoln. The best way to predict the future is to create it. Man, that is 
perfect. That's what I love doing. I love building stuff and creating stuff. It is so true. If you want something, go for it. If you go for it, you'll get it. It might not. It might take longer than you think or you want. Don't give up. Persevere, and you'll get there in the end. Thanks for watching, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.